Hi there, this lesson is on translations and continuing our, our unit on geometry. Our first, I'm going to start off with some definitions. Uh, the first definition is on transformation, and a transformation is any type of change in position, size, shape of, uh, or shape of a figure on a coordinate plane. And what we're going to be focusing on, the type of trans transformation we're focusing on in this lesson is translation, which involves the slide of the original figure. All right, and some uh, important things to remember: when translating a figure, each point is moved the same distance and in the same direction. The translation remains congruent to the original, means uh, the size of the shape does not change. Um, a positive integer, whenever you're translating, indicates or describes a translation either right or up. A negative integer will describe a situation where you're translating either left or down. And then finally, the new figure or translation is going to be labeled with a prime symbol. And I'll show you what that means with our first example. So the first example says that it wants us to translate triangle ABC six units left and three units down. Okay, so first of all, let's get these coordinates. So A has coordinates of one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. B is three, two, and C is one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Okay, so moving six units to the left and three units down, this means we are left means negative, down means also negative. Okay, so um, let's begin by moving it six units to the left. Okay, so we'll start with point A and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three units down, which is one, two, three. So here is A, and we're going to indicate our new figure by a prime. Okay, B is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. And there's B prime. And then C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3 down. Ends up right there. And there is our C prime. And if we connect our dots, we will end up with our new figure. And then our new coordinates for... Um, our new triangle are going to be for A prime is 1, 2, 3, so negative 3, then 1, 2, 3. B prime is 1, 2, 3, so negative 3, negative 1, and then C prime is 0, negative 1. Now if you notice, if we're looking over here, 3 minus 6, or 3 plus negative 6, is negative 3. And then 6 minus 3, or plus negative 3, because we're moving 3 units down, is 3. So you can see that there is a mathematical correlation to each of these uh, coordinates or points on our coordinate plane. All right, so there, there's a there's a way to draw up a table to determine what your new coordinates will be when given a a translation. So let's look at uh, one more example. Now this one says triangle LMN has vertices. L, which is negative 1, negative 2, M is 6, negative 3, and N is 2, negative 5. Find the vertices after a translation of 3 units left 
and two units up. Okay, so three units left indicates we are doing negative. Two units up indicates a positive change. All right. So if we were to take L, M, N, and we do negative 1 plus negative 3, and then our y-axis is negative 2 plus 2, that should get us to our new point. So negative 1 plus negative 3, that is negative 4, and the negative 2 plus 2 would put us on the y on the y axis exactly. Um, sorry, on the x axis. Now, let's let's check this out. So we have three units left, two units up. So one, two, three, and then one, two puts us right there, which is one, two, three, four. L prime is negative 4, 0, which is exactly what we said it would be. So that is our L prime. And I have a feeling my, my little marking here is going to be in the way, but that's okay. We'll keep going. So M, if we move 3 units left, 2, new, two units up. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Let's count that again. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And that would make us at 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So m prime is at 3, negative 1. And then n would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So here is m prime and n prime. Connect our dots here. Notice how the size does not change, only the coordinates, right? And the new coordinates for that one is negative 1 and negative 1, 2, 3. Um, we'll do some more practice on this next time in class. Just make sure you have your notes, and I will see you then.